Hey guys, PK here. So I wanted to show you my new smoker that I just got. Um, now I've been doing a lot of catch and cook videos and I know you guys see me uh, fry, pan fry and um, just steam crabs. So this is just another um, tool I got just trying to expand my cooking style. So this is a stovetop smoker and it's made by Cameron's. Um, it's very portable, it's very very small and you can put it on a lot of heat sores, okay? So like charcoal um, on your stovetop and gas and so on and so on. So so let's open this up and uh, check it out. Okay, there it is right there. This is um, stainless steel and the lid comes off like that. Now the metal stainless steel is pretty thin. Um, it's not very thick at all, but it is pretty durable. You have your grill right here. Um, as you can see, it's been used. I used it once already in Coos Bay uh, cooking rockfish. This smoker is um, three and a half inches tall, right there. So when you put on the bottom plate and the grill, it, it's more like three inches, um, probably no more than that. So if you want to cook a really big fish, it's not going to work in here. This is it's pretty compact. It's made for small fish. You have the handle right here, and I don't recommend grabbing the handle while it's on the stove top okay, because that's going to be pretty hot. It'll burn you. The lid is right here and it's got a little handle right here so you can pull out. Again, when you're cooking on a stove top or over a heat source, don't grab that by your hand. Um, use, some, use a glove or a hot pad to pull it because it's going to be very, very hot. Now to put on the wood chips, you simply lift the bottom plate out and the wood chips go right here. Um, this Cameron smoker does come with a uh, like a, a a small container of wood chips, and it doesn't really take a lot. Um, I would say about one tablespoon to one tablespoon and a half at the most. Um, I made the mistake of putting too much on, and it was the smoke flavor was overwhelming. That's way too much, so I don't recommend more than one tablespoon and a half. Okay, so the wood chips go down here, and plate and then you grill like that okay and then your lid slides on pretty easy just like that now when you cook you can also open the lid a little bit and let it vent um, because if you keep it covered like that completely it's gonna get very very hot and you know it, the smoke flavor is gonna be very very strong if you like that that's great um, keep it vented a little bit like that so the smoke can escape and um, uh, it, it doesn't get so hot in there that's going to burn your food, okay? So, okay guys, so before we can use a smoker, let's go catch some fish and um, start cooking. There's a hit. Oh, another hit. Another one. What the hell? Oh, I got him. I didn't know I had him. No wonder you got him hit. Yeah. <laughs> Comes flying out of the water. Load of rockfish. Okay, buddy. Set, yeah, really good hook set. All right, buddy. Where's your daddy? Oh, right through the nostril. Poor guy. All right, let the guy. Yep, there's a fish. First fish, guys. First fish. I was getting worried there. <laughs> A very, very tiny rockfish. Okay, it's a rock fish. Yeah, it's a baby... <laughs> uh, baby copper. Sorry, buddy. You are way too small, man. First fish of the day, guys. Not a very big one. Okay, right there. Awesome looking fish, but we need something bigger. Let's catch a bigger fish. Boom. 
there's one. There's one. There's a better one. There's a better one, guys. Have to walk around this pylon to get this dude. Feels bigger. He feels bigger. Yep. Not by a whole lot. Little copper. That is way too small to keep. Man, where are the big fish at? Okay. Okay, well, he's too small. Let this guy go. See if we can get a bigger one. Much, much bigger. I want to cook them up. Huh? The little flipper just jumped a few minutes ago. Uh, well, oh, oh yeah, finally! Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Please let it be a keeper. Lynn has got one. Oh yeah. Good size. Good size, Lynn. Good hook set, too. Nice one. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's a fish. There's a fish. Yep. Yep, right there. That's a keeper. That's a keeper, guys. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, the biggest of the day so far. Perfect hook set. Maybe the tide coming in brings bringing the big guys. Could be. Say ah. Uh. Well, if you're not gonna say ah, uh, I'm gonna freaking whack you. Okay, guys. Finally caught a keeper rockfish. I would say he's a little bit over one pound. I switched to the black and chartreuse tail power bait. Got him right on the top, right on the roof of the mouth. Right there. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna cook this guy up, okay? So He's big enough. Given how slow today is, <laughs> and these fish not getting bigger than one pound, I'm gonna keep this guy again. Oh yeah. Okay. They're so that's fillet size. Yeah, yeah. He is going straight to the frying pan. Okay, guys, we're gonna pick out a fish and we're gonna cook them. Cook it, I mean. I think this one ought to do it. Gonna cook a small one right here. Okay, that's the one right there. We're gonna cook up. Rinse them really quick. Okay, right there. So we're gonna fillet him up first. Okay, because I'm smoking it, I'm gonna keep the skin on. Yeah. Fall apart. Right, right. Okay, like that. And then yeah. you go all the way down, right? I don't have any gloves. Dang. Oh well. I've got a. Okay. I've got a Kevlar glove. I got it right there. Yeah. And if you're if you're not that particular when you when you. There it is. Okay, so we got our two fillets right there. We're gonna rinse that off really quick. Wash all that off. I should have bled it. I've got to bleed it.
Did you get one? All right, guys, so we have two fillets right here. And I'm gonna marinate that with some brown sugar, black pepper, and one of my favorite seasoning, Cajun seasoning. First, a little bit of brown sugar. There. There we go. And the best seasoning of all, Cajun seasoning. Okay, right there. So for this filet, um, I left the skin on the other side because we're gonna smoke it. And I also left the rib cage bone in there because once you once you cook it, the bone should peel just right off. All right, so our fish is marinated, so let's put it um, in a smoker. So here is my little smoker I got, um, a stovetop smoker. It's very small and it's very portable. Brand new, never been used. Take off the tag. There it is. I got the wood chips in here. This is hickory. Let's see what it's like. I think it's just, uh, just some sawdust. There it is, yep. Pretty good amount. It comes with these wood chips. Um, instructions, don't need that. Here is the grill. And there's the bottom base and that's it. Uh, put the fish right there. But let's see. Um, I think it's best to spray this grill first because if you don't, it's gonna stick pretty good. So I'm gonna spray with pan pan spray and I believe the wood chip will go right down here so we're gonna spray this grill with this non-stick cooking spray that ought to do it you're polluting the environment you know that that has CSC all right so I'm gonna put some wood chips right down here it says one and a half tablespoon okay there's one and a half maybe three tablespoon <laughs> it's all right we want to make it really smoky we're going to put this right here and then we're going to put this grill right there the filet it's going to go right in there just like that Oh yeah, right there, perfect. So this lid's gonna slide it back on like that. And there it is. We're gonna turn on the stove and put this right on top of the stove. All right, there we go. That is going. Right there. I don't want to put on the boat because the boat is moving and this thing is very unstable so it might fall off. Besides I got gasoline in the boat too so I don't want to light this stove near that gasoline tank. Kablooey! Well we're gonna try avoid accident today. All right guys let's check the fish. I can see the smoke coming out that's a good sign gonna pull the lid back a little bit Woo! oh my lord look at that I think that <laughs> that's probably cooked okay
even though you spray it, it still sticks. Oh, we got little broken pieces right here. Gonna have to take care of that. Yup. Hmm. You go, Lynn, eating time. <laughs> Looks like smoked fish. Looks like smoked fish. Well, there it is, guys. Smoked rockfish. Now, as I was saying about the bones right there, you can just kind of pick that out just like that. Okay? That comes right out. These are the pin bones, right there, see that? It's pretty easy to get them out. So you don't have to worry about trying to take them out while they're raw. Tastes like smoked fish. Good. Yeah. It's all like smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Very strong smoke flavor. Yeah, the hickory, it's got a very nice flavor, good smell to it. Right there. This fish was alive about 15 minutes ago. Oh man, that's so good. I said it once, I said it a thousand times. If you guys aren't doing this, you're missing out. So, yep, super fresh, super delicious, super healthy. What more do you want? Right there. Mm. Hey, so thanks for watching. I hope to see you at the surf fishing tournament, March 24, Saturday. Mm. Have fun fishing. Tight lines. <laughs>